Gabbit Media. This is a tutorial video to help you get into sculpting in Blender and it's just a quick start guide really. Here's one I made earlier but we'll start with a startup file, new startup file and we'll delete the cube and I like to start with add uh, mesh, where's the mesh? Why can I find it at the bottom there? Um, an IK sphere. Okay, there's my IK sphere and if I go into edit mode uh, and subdivide a couple of times, maybe one more, three times, there we go. Uh, I can then go to sculpt mode. Okay, so straight into sculpt mode. And the options uh, to make it seem a bit more like Sculptress and ZBrush and other programs like that is the Dino Topo options. Okay, so we'll open those up and enable Dino Topo or Dino Topo, sorry. Uh, so the detail here is. Um, how well your um, or the polygons that it creates, how many polygons it's going to create. It's good to start um, with a high number like 10 I think, that's what I always do, and then go down to something like 6 when, or even 5 when you're going into detailed um, pieces. This does depend on how close you are to the object, so it will do more detail the closer you are, um, so it's pixel related apparently. Okay, these two should be fine, just leave those as they are. Uh, and symmetry, just make sure you've got symmetry on the x-axis, which means you've got to have the x-axis going across here if you want your symmetry to work these two sides. Okay, so we'll get straight into it uh, and start with the brushes. Um, I prefer to start with something like the uh, grab brush or even the snake hook. The grab brush to sort of uh, make my, let's, we'll, we'll just make a head. So. Um, to change your brush size, uh, you press F and move your mouse um, left and right if you're using a mouse. Okay, and then you can start pulling your mesh around. Okay, so we'll do a really um, basic maybe caricature face. Uh, push this up a little bit and um, push these in. Okay, I'm going to make this a quick tutorial so I shan't uh, try hard to make it an amazing face, but that's the start. Okay, so let's pretend I'm happy with that. Um, and we'll use the draw brush now. And I'll change the size of that. Um, if you press control, if I just brush normally, that'd make my eyes stick out, which I don't want. I want them to indent. And if you press control, it will do the opposite of what's up here. Okay, so you can see I'm making an indent for the eyes. Okay, probably need a little bit more than that. There we go, a bit of an indent and um, a nose as well, so I can do, go outwards with the nose. Okay, so just rough shapes to start off with, fairly basic, and do a little bit for the mouth there, so it's got a little bit of an extrusion there. Okay, so we've got the basics of a person, little indent over here for where the skull is, and maybe a little um, ear shape around there. That might be a bit too much, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go back to my grab brush a little bit and make it bigger with the F key and just pull this back up over here, whoops undo that, there we go and let's say I want to make a neck now, this is a useful brush if you want to kind of make a new topology or new polys um, the snake hook tool, uh, rather than the grab brush, if I get the grab brush now and pull this out you can see the UVs, I'm sorry, yep, the, the um, polygon stretching but if I undo that and go to the grab brush, sorry, the snake hook brush, uh, you can see that it actually makes new topology. Can you see that, hopefully? There we go, I'm getting the idea. Okay, so let's say I've got my basic shape here and I'm starting to get more, a bit more happy. Then I can go down to a bit finer detail, maybe eight on here. So the lower these numbers, the more detail you get and um, at this point let's go back to my draw brush and I personally like to go across to my graphics tablet at this point so I'll grab my pen uh, I'll, if you need a tutorial about how to set up your graphics tablet um, then um, look at the link um, in the corner of the screen hopefully uh, so the F key to resize and then I can start drawing a bit of detail like the nostrils and maybe uh, the mouth here that might be a bit too much. Always move around your 
object a bit to see how you're getting on. Let's uh, go to make my brush a bit bigger with the F key again and press Control. Okay, that's not bad. It's looking okay. And there's a couple of nostrils. And then I'll make my brush a bit smaller and make sort of laughter lines coming up around there. Okay, can you see it's all bumpy at the moment? What I can do, if I make my brush a little bit bigger, I can press Shift on any brush that I've got selected, press Shift and drag, and that smooths things out. Okay, useful brush. Okay, and sometimes I like to put spheres in there and then sculpt around the spheres, so add a new object in for the eyes and then sculpt around the spheres. But it's not that necessary. Um, you can just sort of build up uh, the eyes like this and then slowly sculpt um, around them. They are a little bit backwards at the moment, but you get the idea. Okay, so you sort of get the idea of what I'm creating there. So I can make my brush nice and big, but pull the cheeks in a little bit with the control key, doing the opposite of the draw. Um, and that is a basic intro. A couple of um, useful tips to know. Um, let's say, um, if I go to Z at the moment, you can see my wireframe and you can see the detail I've added. Um, if I'm far out with these options enabled and uh, create topology, can you see it creating topology there? But if I come in and start creating topology, you can see the more detail it adds. So the closer in you are to your object, the more detail it will add. And actually, if I come further out and start doing it again, it will re-topologize it uh, and make it less um, uh, polygons. So you've got to be a bit careful when you've added some fine detail and you come further out you'll add less detail and you'll overwrite the initial shape. The other thing to worth, uh, that's worth bearing in mind if I go out of sculpt mode at any point, let's say into edit mode, there we go, see my edit, and then back into sculpt mode. I'm just pressing the tab key and those modes are down here. Sculpt mode, edit mode. So I'm back in sculpt mode, got my object selected but I have to re-enable Dino Topo. Okay. So just going to make sure you do that. Uh, and then the key is to start in big areas first and then slowly add detail in the same way as painters do and artists do. Okay. The other thing that might be useful for you to know, if I press N and get my toolbars over here, we can go to the display settings and I can get rid of things like outline selected, relationship lines, grid floor, and X and Y. And then it's, it's a nice grey background just to work with. Uh, the other thing that's quite nice as well, if I go to shading and uh, better performance with G GLSL apparently and Metcap is quite nice. You can uh, see your shapes a bit nicer. I always use this one, it looks like clay and then it's uh, much nicer to model on. So that's the Metcap setting in shading. And remember your smooth tool is with the shift so I can smooth this all out and make it all look nice. Okay, hopefully that's um, enough for you to start sculpting and create beautiful models like this. Um, obviously I can go in now and add a little bit more detail. Okay, I hope that helps.